This is the PTR server and I want to summon because I want to try out R6 Sakura. Her R6 is shaping to be one of the most broken resonance in the game. Each time an ally with Vigor Guard actively casts abilities or is attacked, increases their attack and defense by 5% and speed by 5. I have about 1000 go record. Again, this is the PTR server. I have not summoned a single time I think in my... Oh, okay. I have not summoned a single time in my PTR server I think. Hopefully I have enough wish stones to R6 her and then test her out. Because if she is, you know, infinitely stacking, she's gonna be so ridiculously OP. From this point on, you would need her to be at R6 for you to compete in anything. If someone has her at R6, you're not gonna compete against them. Falsetto Fantasy is gonna be a joke with her. The Embla team, Embla takes a lot of turns, even though she's a, even though she's gonna be a built slow, right? But she most likely will not be in the Embla team. She'll probably be in other team, like maybe your Daji team. Because now Daji is going to gain attack and also speed. And whenever you get attack or attack, you'll get more speed, which means you'll get more turns, which means you'll get more stacks. And in Dark Star Lord, um, there's only 75 turns that you can take. But Dark Star Lord has 3 enemies, so uh, you will be able to stack it up even faster. Typically in Dark Star Lord, one of your allies or one of your aspers will take maximum 10 turns. I think it was 13 turns. And that's with your support with... A bunch of speed. Your DPS typically will take maybe 9 or 10 turns uh, and within those 9 or 10 turns that's going to give you at least 50% attack defense and speed and then whenever the boss attacks your DPS that's going to give you maybe maybe the boss attacks you uh, three times attacks your DPS three times right that's going to give you up to maybe 65 attack defense and this is overall attack and defense so it's going to stack multiplicatively with everything else and then it's going to give you 50, uh, 65 speed as well. She's going to support like crazy uh, if she is R6. Again, if it stacks infinitely. That's the reason why I want to test it out. If it doesn't stack infinitely, maybe it stacks up to 5 times. Then this is somewhat balanced. It is still ridiculously strong. Because keep in mind, Liam provides a 30% attack, uh, overall attack buff to the unit that he pairs up with, right? And that buff is insanely good on your DPS. Sakura, she's gonna be providing all of your team attack and defense whenever they attack or get attacked. So everyone is going to be faster, everyone is gonna be tankier, and everyone is gonna hit a lot harder. So yeah, let me just skip to when I get legendaries so it doesn't get too long. I have a thousand gold records to go through. I think I started off at 190 wish stones. We'll see how much I get by the end of this. There's one legendary, hide. Again, this is the PTR server, so I don't really care what I get. Hopefully I can get more copies of, okay. Hopefully I can get more more copies of Sakura, so I don't have to spend too much wish stones on her. I don't even know if I can get enough wish stones to R6 her. I need, uh, I already got her first copy from, you know, because they sent out new espers to the PTR account. Uh, so I need 70 times six, which is, 300 and uh, no, it's 420 wish stones. Right now, I have almost 300 wish stones already. That was pretty fast. Um, yeah, we're already at 312. So I just need 120 more wish stones. I've already burned through 300 gold records and I've gotten 130 or 140 wish stones. Boom. All right. Come on, just give me one Sakuya, Sakurahime. And then, her name is actually Sak Sakura, but then the god is Sakuya Hime. I kind of get confused a little bit sometimes. Burn through 350 already. I need about 70 wish stones left. 400 gold record. Okay, finally. Um, I think I need about, uh, what is it? I think 40 more wish stones. Yeah, 40 more wish stones. Alright, nice. 20 more wish stones. Okay, this last legendary took all the way to the PT. I had to burn through 500 go records to get from 190 wish stones to 420. A little bit more than 500 go records. It's around 520, I think. And there it is, 420 wish stones. I had to burn through 540 or 530 go records. And now, let's go ahead and get her to R6. Let's play her animation real quick. Let me increase the volume real quick. And boom. All things 
wither and die, while I remain close. Sheesh! And this is going to be the last copy, and we'll have her at R6. Alright, there we go. Six copies of her. Let's feed all of the dupes. Her R2 is going to be... She starts off with the Vigor Guard. So, it's going to be very difficult for you to stun her in PvP. She's going to get a turn. She's going to nullify the stun that you did on her. And she's going to cast her S3, which will then give her another stack of Vigor Guard. R4 is also pretty good. When she's above 50% HP, she'll give 12% to your allies damage but the R6 is where we want to look at whether it's infinitely stacking or not if it's infinitely stacking then uh, we're gonna have some some trouble right now but yeah that's about it next video I'm gonna be testing her out at R6 stay tuned ciao